This is factoring the hard trinomial by decomposition. Now, as I showed you in the last video, we know it's a hard trinomial because 4 goes into there, but 4 does not go into all three terms. So, no matter whether you're doing decomposition or triple play, you start off by multiplying the 4 by the 7, the first term by the last term. Okay, and that gives you 28. 4 times 7 gives you 28. Now what you're going to do in both systems is you're going to work with this 28 here and see what multiplies to make 28 and does that to make that. So it has to multiply to make 28 and add up to 16. Well, I know 1 times 28 is 28, 2 times 14, and 4 times 7. And you can see that these numbers, 2 and 14, add up to 16. Okay, what that tells you is when you write down 2 and 14, it tells you how the middle term was derived. Okay, uh, it must have come from 2x plus 2x plus 14 x. I know both signs are going to be the same and I know that they are both, both going to be the same as that guy. So they're both going to be plus. So the first thing you do is you break up 16 into where it came from. Now the 4 x squared you write here and the plus 7 you write there. So the first step is to increase your problem from three terms to four terms. Okay. Now if that was a golf shot, that's the equivalent of a really good 250 yard drive. Maybe even a 300 yard drive. You almost have the answer in front of you now. Here is the next step. Take this sign and write it down here, whatever it is. And then divide that arrow either side into two parts. And what we're going to do is find the common factor in this part and the common factor in this part. So I say to myself, self, what goes into 4x squared and 2x? Well, they both have a 2 and they both have an x. Okay, what's left? Well, if I take 2x out of there, I'm left with 2x. If I take 2 x out of 2 x, I'm left with a plus 1. Okay, I, I have to have a placeholder there, and 2 x times 1 is 2 x. Now on this side of the plus sign, what goes into both 14 x and 7? Well, the answer is 7. And when I divide 7 into 14 x, I get 2 x. When I divide 7 into plus 7, I get 1. Okay. At this time, you should have absolutely identical brackets. If they're not identical, you have made a mistake. Okay. And the identical brackets become one bracket of your answer. So what I've done is I've said whatever I've done twice, I only have to do once. Everything else goes in the other bracket. Well, the other bracket is whatever I haven't underlined there. It's in black. I have a 2x from this term, and a plus and a 7 from that term. And there is the answer to my factoring problem. Factoring by decomposition. Now, the next video will show you uh, a little example of something you may have to watch out for. Okay? It's a very minor thing but you'll see it in the next in the next video